Scooby-Doo, Batman, the Brave and the Bold has the gang with Batman, and they try to solve Batman's unsolved case. Uh, the positives on the film is Jeffrey Combs is questioned, and I like him from Reanimator, and he's also H.P. Hatecraft from Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Um, and in the beginning of this movie, I felt like it was pretty engaged. I was, uh, engaged with the story, kind of, uh, at the beginning, but that's it now. So, I mean, like, this, onto the negatives, this just doesn't feel like a Scooby-Doo movie. It feels like a superhero movie. And once I noticed... And once I noticed this is just kind of like a Batman movie, I just got bored watching it. Uh, watching the movie. Um, it's like they had a Batman movie and they just stuck Scooby-Doo characters in it. I didn't buy this to watch a Batman movie. I watched it to buy a Scooby-Doo movie. So, that's just it. Um, and I was just pretty bored throughout it. Um, so, in the end, short review, but whatever. Um, it was kind of interesting um, at the beginning, but it's not a good Scooby-Doo movie. It's just a Batman movie. Um, if this wasn't technically a Scooby-Doo movie, it probably would be good, but I just wasn't engaged. Um, when I want to watch a Scooby-Doo movie, I expect a Scooby-Doo movie. There's a monster in it, but near the end, it just got so weird, and it's just a Batman movie. So, um... If you're a Batman fan, you'll probably enjoy it, but for Scooby-Doo fans, I don't know, probably probably not. So that's my review on uh, Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Thanks for watching.